Cold Blooms has an awesome stencil this month and I've already gotten a start here on a piece of white um, cover stock and I'm using the Leaf ink pad from Club Scrap um, along with one of our awesome ink applicators. I love the applicators because they keep my hands out of the ink and they're extremely long lasting and durable. Now what I did first was stencil a few of these green stems onto the paper and I kind of tilted my stems a little bit for the second round but for the third round I literally flipped the entire stencil over so I could have stems facing in each direction. Once you have your stems in place you can switch to a different tip, applicator tip, and then stencil the black part of the poppy flower onto the top of each stem. So I'm just kind of moving this stencil as I go and then taking a little rub. And you can control the intensity of the color by the pressure and the amount of ink that you use. Finally, taking the uh, ink applicator that I use for my color red, this, in this case it's fuchsia, I share my red tones on one applicator. So I'm just going over the top and then you control like how many petals you want so you can add as many petals to one poppy as you like. So here I might want to go back and add a second petal to make it look like a larger flower. It's just so fun. You control shading with the amount of ink that you use. Here we'll just do a little one. And I'm just going over all of the, adding a blossom to the top of each poppy stem. And you know, I like, I like it when they go off the edge of the page too, especially if you're using this for a layout base. And of course you can add as many as you want, but isn't that sweet? I mean, you could do something simple like this, throw it in a frame and hang it in a room and you can match the color specifically to what you have going on in your home decor. But um, one of the other things you can add that comes right in the junior kit is a spray of the pink lemonade. And this just really adds, adds a little touch to the page, warms it up a little bit. And then when you're finished, um, you've got something kind of nice and artsy that you've made yourself. Um, here's how Kay finished our initial example. Um, we've added a few extra flowers, some mist, and then um, we could choose the color because it matched Marilee's pink uh, clothes and little that's her bicycle there that she got for her birthday. So what a great way to start a page.